Hello YouTube, it's Michelle here with 3Ps and today I want to show you two very basic um, cards that you can make or envelopes you can make for your pocket letters. And the first one I'm going to show you how to do is this one. Um, it measures um, 10 and a half inches from bottom to the top or top to the bottom. So 10 and a half inches long by seven and a half inches wide. So um, we're going to start with that one first. I'll show you one more time. Seven, uh, ten and a half inches tall by seven and a half inches wide. Okay, and I'm gonna. I've already pre-cut a piece of paper, and what you want to do is, you want to take this way. You want to score at three and a half inches inside. So I'm just going to line this up here, and I'm going to use my uh, cutting mat to score my paper at three and a half inches. So, here we go. Got something to score with here. So, let's see. Sorry, three and a half inches, we're gonna score this at three and a half inches. And then we'll do the other side also at three and a half inches. Doing this backwards. There we go, three and a half inches. So we're just gonna score this here at the three and a half inch mark. So for this top part, you'll score down at three and a half, and then at the bottom, you'll also score in at three and a half. And for the sides, we're gonna score in at the two and a half inch mark. So we're gonna flip this around, I'll do it this way so I can see it better. We're gonna score in at two and a half inches. I'm just going to score this like that. And then I'll flip it around and do the other side. Also scoring in at two and a half inches. Okay. I'll put this aside just for a second. We'll come back to it uh, for the next uh, envelope. So then what you're left with, it's kind of hard to see on this white background, but basically you're left with a grid that kind of looks like this. And so you're measuring out this, the equal. So your inside of your pocket letter here is two and a half inches wide. So you're going to go, you're basically measuring out two and a half inches on each side. And then the center part is three and a half inches tall. So you're going three and a half inches on either side so that it folds up evenly on both sides to create uh, a basic envelope template and from this template you can make however you want your envelope to look so um, in this case it's going to look we're going to trim away these sides uh, real quick and cut away my score lines what is nice about using this template is that when you cut away the corners, they already measure two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So if you're trying to use like a decorative piece of paper for your layout, when you cut away the four corners, you're gonna be left with four sheets that will already match your layout from making your envelope. So we'll cut away another corner. So you're just cutting away at the um, score lines in each corner. So we're going to cut this away. And you're going to do this for all four sides. So again, I've already got two pieces that are already two and a half by three and a half inches, which you can use for your pocket letter to kind of coordinate with the envelope that you're making. And you've already got pre-cut sheets or pre-cut corners that are the right measurements. I'll cut that one away and we'll do this last one here. And this might be cut a little bit sloppy. <laughs> I don't want to take too long trimming this away so I apologize if it's not perfect. So once you cut that away, you know, cut away the corners, you're going to be left with four pocket letter ready sheets that you can add to your layout. 
So if you make two envelopes, that'll give you eight sheets, which is almost every pocket. <laughs> so then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to just cut away a very like small side to this. You're going to want to come in at an angle and, and down to the corner so that it will fold inward uh, nicely. So we're just going to cut away. Uh, and you don't want to cut away too much. It only takes a tiny, tiny bit. And you want to cut in at, at an angle. I don't know if you can see this, how it kind of angles in. And that's just so that the side will fold up um, smoothly and not cause any overlap. I'm going to cut this away and then cut away this side. Okay. So then what you're left with it's kind of like this so the sides are the they're trimmed down a little bit and then from there you're just going to fold in your sides uh, fold in the sides like this again I, I apologize if it's not exactly perfect you know sometimes on camera we're rushed and not making it absolutely perfect but and i'm gonna fold up this side here Okay, so you're left with a, like I didn't score in, it doesn't look like far enough. Oh, I didn't fold in right. <laughs> that's why. There we go. I didn't fold in at the score line. That's why it's weird. All right, there we go. So now you're left with this little template that is two and a half inches wide, three and a half inches tall. When making an envelope, you can really wrap it any way that you want. You just want to make sure the center, the inside is the right measurement so that it's two and a half inches across by three and a half inches tall and from this basic template that's exactly like this you can make any card look any or not card any envelope look any way that you want um you know you can either you know glue in the sides like this and if you want just glue up this flap and if you wanted to snip off the top and you've got a little card that slides in and out um you know snip off the top You've got the sides glued down and then you're left with another piece of paper that's already two and a half by three and a half inches that you can also use on your layout or you can just use it as a flap and trim it off right here do like a decorative um decorative scallop or you could use a um, like a border punch and decorate up this flap and make it like a, a matchbook envelope and then slide in either a gift card or a note or something, a photo maybe, that you want to slip down inside. Um, so from this, you can make it look any way that you like. You can even fold in these flaps first, like this. And then you can glue down one side and make it a side open envelope, like, like this. Like if you just want to fold it in and then fold down the sides. And you've got an open sided envelope just like this that you can slide something into. Um, and that, and you can also trim it up to look like an envelope. Um, that's how I did this here. I just trimmed up the sides, folding this in like that, and then the two flaps folded over. So, like I said, from this basic template, that's the ten and a half by seven and a half, you can make any envelope. You can trim the sides. You can use borders. You can use you know, your decorative scissors and make this look any way that you want to. So there's that basic card. And from that, like I said, you can, you can make anything that you want. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is another basic template for making the envelope cards or not the envelope card, the, um, the ones that look like envelopes. So you want to get you a strip of paper, and this one is going to be seven and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide. And then you're going to score down just the top at two and a half inches. Now you can score the bottom if you want, but um, just score this top and then fold this flap to meet the score line. That way you know it's completely even and completely covered all the way to the top. Uh, and then you can crease this uh, with a fold. So this one is already pre-cut at seven and a half inches long, and I'm just going to score the top at two and a half inches. 
So let me get my little tray here so I can score the top. I'm just gonna score this in at two and a half inches. It's really hard to see this sometimes. So I'm gonna score this in at two and a half inches, just like this, okay? I don't know if you can even see the score line. So I just score it in at two and a half inches. And then I'm going to take this bottom half and just meet the score line right up to the edge of that score line and then crease the end just like this. And that way you know it, it match, it'll line up perfectly with this side and you don't have to worry about if you got this score line off center or you missed it by a millimeter or two, it'll come right up to the edge and then you're gonna fold this part in half. So you've got to open on both sides with your two flaps. Okay, then this top part, now if you want to, um, because this is a bigger envelope, if anyone's seen my little mini envelope uh, tutorial that I made for making the mini envelopes, I just kind of eyeball those and I don't worry about measuring it perfectly. But what you can do is you can just measure in from to the center of the three and a half inch mark, which is one and three quarter inches in from the sides. Uh, I don't know what I did with, I'm just gonna use a pencil. So you can measure in, it's one and three quarters in from the sides is where you wanna mark. So one, three quarters. So I just do a little, do a little line here. Actually, I went too far up. So I'm just gonna measure that in. I'm just gonna leave a little dot. So for this bigger envelope, I like to try to make sure that it's, that it's even. And you're gonna do the same thing as you do with the mini envelopes. And you're just gonna cut from the center to the sides is what I'm gonna do here. Snipping that off. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side, just going from corner to corner, trying to get it perfect. <laughs> okay. And so then you're left with a flap that looks like this. And all you have to do is seal up the sides. Now you can either use a washi tape, which I have done, take a washi tape and seal up both sides on the edge with the washi tape. Or you can just use a glue runner and glue the inside. So you can just um, do your little glue run like this. Not gluing the top. You don't want to glue this top part. You want to leave that open. So we're just going to do this side like this. And you're just going to press it down. So, and, it, and you can also, after you do that, just to reinforce the sides, you can still use a washi tape uh, to cover the edges of of that so and then you have your little flap that looks like this um let me grab a completely forgot to grab y'all an example I had everything else laid out and i forgot to grab an example of the envelope so that i can find it really quick my apologies on that all right here we go forgot to grab a sample of this envelope. So that's what this will end up looking like. And here I just reinforced the sides with a washi tape on either side. And I decorated it up to look like an envelope, you know, with more washi tape around the edge and just, you know, embellished and decorated it up. So you could put this in, put your letter for your pocket letter inside here and then it looks like a little little mailed envelope. So however you want to make that look is completely up to you. You could hand draw it with a marker, um, you know, however you want to make that look. You could glue ribbon on the sides. That part, how you embellish it and how you make it look is completely up to you, but it's really the measurements again. It's only seven and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide. And then you just do one score line at two and a half inches and then fold from the bottom to meet the top and then, you know, crease it right here and then fold your flap down. Um, you can also curve this part right here if you want. You can just snip off uh, the corner part. 
going to do it by hand real quick. I mean, you can obviously use like a corner rounder or something like that, but I'm just going to snip it off by hand and then it can make it like an envelope like that. You can stamp it with flowers or snowflakes or, you know, the possibilities are endless. So one quick card I want to show you today, or card or envelope I want to show you, um, is from this basic pattern like this. I've already pre-cut it and got it pretty much ready to go. It looks like this. Now I have trimmed an inch off of each side. So instead of it being the big flap, I just trimmed off about an inch worth on the sides so that it comes in like this. Now you don't have to, you can obviously leave it all the way across, but I just wanted to just cut off a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little glue or adhesive to that and I'm going to fold the flaps down and then seal it shut. Okay, so that's like this. The bottom flap here that you see like this, I just scalloped the edges. Now I did come down too far on this side, but just scalloped the edges and you want to leave maybe about a half inch or a quarter inch down here at the bottom just so it overlays where you folded. So when you fold it up, you don't see um, where it was folded or there's no open gaps. So you, I scalloped that part. And then this top flap here, I trimmed down uh, and scalloped that off as well. Now you don't have to, you can obviously leave the flap as far down as you want it to go. It can cover the whole thing. And then when people flip it open, they see the decorative uh, scalloped edge. Now what I'm going to do with this card, before I glue this down, I'm going to add a little washi tape to the sides. Got some candy cane washi tape here that I can't get to come up. There we go. I'm just going to kind of trim this up and I'm going to lay this on the sides. Try and, I'm just going to lay this on the sides just like this all the way up to the edge and all the way down. And I'm just going to just tear off that piece down at the end. They're not going to see that. Okay, and we're going to do that on the other side. Gonna, same thing, tear off a little strip. And I'm just going to line it up on the edge here. Now what I should have done is trim this off perfect, but I forgot. I'm just going to tear off this excess here from the bottom. Like I said, nobody's going to see that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and if you're like me and you forgot to trim off this top piece so that it was, you know, perfect, you can just tuck it into the envelope. And so I've lined the sides with some washi tape and then I'm going to fold this up like that. And so then the washi tape is underneath the scallop. Uh, where's my runner? I'm just going to run some glue here along the edges. Now here you want to do the top part. You want to do the top part of this flap all the way down. I might do a little extra in the middle for good measure. And then I'm going to press that down. And you're left with an envelope that looks like this. And it's open at the top with a little flap. Now if you want, you could put like a an embellishment here and then tuck the flap into it if you want. Um, I'm just gonna, for right now, I'm just leaving it hanging open like this. Um, another variation is like this one here. Now, I did not put any washi tape at the top. As you can see here, I did do that, that here. I put a little band across the top. So, you know, you can either leave it blank so that it goes all the way up, or you can do it like this and then the little flap hangs over with the little washi, with the the band hanging over. So I think for this one, I might add me a couple. I got some little red stockings I could add to this, but that's the basic card. And it came from this template. So, you know, pretty, pretty easy. You can make um, any kind that you want. I made one like this that, like I was saying earlier, if you want, you can just snip off this top piece and leave it as an open card, which is what I did here at the top, left it open. And I trimmed down um, 
I don't know if you've seen them, the Michaels. At Michaels, they have these little mini envelopes and cards that kind of look like this. They come in various colors. And I took one of those cards and I trimmed it down to look like this. And you can use this as a note if you want. You know, write your little message inside and then slide that right inside this envelope, just like that. And then it's inside. So, like I said, uh, from this template, you can make all kinds of cards. So you want or kinds of envelopes, keep saying cards. I did one like this. Like I was telling you earlier, where you can fold in the sides and then you have this one, well, not like that, sorry. Do it like this, fold in the sides, then fold this up, leaving this flap open, which is kind of how I did this. I, I did trim it up a little bit and then I scalloped the edge so it makes an envelope like that. And one more. I think I did I show you this one. I think I might have already shown this silver one. So, I mean, those are some basic cards you can make um, from those. So I'll go over the measurements one more time. For the basic template, you're going to want to get you um, 10 and a half by 7 and a half. And then you'll cut away the corners, leaving you with four cards that are also 2 and a half by 3 and a half inches which will be perfect if you're trying to coordinate with your layout. So you'd have an envelope made like looking just like this. And you don't really waste any of the paper. You can use it on your layout. And then the other template is like this and it's gonna be seven and a half inches long by three and a half inches wide. So I hope that was helpful uh, for you guys in creating some little envelopes for your pocket letters. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a great day. Thank you.